Hey guys, welcome back to Puff It Louda. Um, thank you so much to people who have been giving me advice this entire time on like how to shorten things and how to get them volume to like a better ratio and stuff. Um, it's really been helpful since this is my first like let's play and everything. Um, so thank you so much. We're just gonna get right into it. Oh boy. Um, that pork, I mean, body is irresistible, yeah? I don't know why, but that's rather convincing for some reason. So are you guys done with the introductions? I don't know who this is. Oh god! <laughs> Mom! All my sons are wonderful, right? Yes! <laughs> Animals are the best! Don't you think she's praising a totally different thing? Anyway, the night is long. Enjoy your welcome party, my dear daughter-in-law. Yes! Phew! I ate too much. It's been such a long time since I had this much fun. I thought it was going to be a nightmare, but I'm glad to be here. Everyone is so nice. A little strange, but really nice. But... I can't seem to get along with Mr. Cat. I like how she calls him Mr. Cat and not by his, like, actual name. I can't remember what his actual name is. I only remember that the snail is called Land because it's just so weird. Um, so that's probably why she didn't call him that. <laughs> Answered my own question. Of all the animals, why did I decide to choose him? <sighs> Will this work out? Oh. Huh? Oh, surprise! Mr. Cat? What's wrong? Here. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, the coin purse like opens from its like chest. Oh, that's kind of disturbing. My wallet! Did you find this for me? Yeah. I found it when I was sweeping the floor just now. You mean near the circuit? Circus entrance circuit? <laughs> That's right. Giordano thought it's probably yours. Who the hell is Giordano? Am I even saying that right? Probably not. Giordano? The monkey who's in charge of ticketing. Take the ticket. Okay, I remember that. Oh! Oh, cutscene! Oh, well, it's not really a cutscene. Thank you, Mr. Cat! I'm so happy! Well, what are you doing? Oh, damn, the hearts, though. The heart increase. Oh. oh, welcome back. <laughs> huh? D don't touch me. But you were a cat just a moment ago. It was like this too back then. Don't tell me. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Owl! You are half correct. Just as I have told you earlier, we are humans who have been turned into animals. We will return to our original form whenever our heart rate increases above normal. That's... oh, that's bad. Cat is the most sensitive among us. Just a little touch is enough to make him flustered. Of course, each of us has different triggers to our transformation. I will leave it to you to figure out the rest. I see. That's why please don't touch me. It's not good for my heart. Remember what Kid told you earlier? Cat is shy. Don't be afraid to tease him. Can I? Actually, go ahead and do it. Oh, oh you ran. <laughs> oh my. He ran away. <laughs> I was worried for a second, but I guess I have nothing to worry about. Mr. Cat is really cute. I'm glad I chose him. <laughs> That's great to hear. Welcome to Dick Circus. <laughs> we hope you enjoy your stay. Although you won't really be able to leave since you're marrying into the family and all, you know, I mean, I don't know how that works, but, uh, oh, yikes. So, what did you think? A great catch, isn't she? Oh, shit, that's the owl! <laughs> oh my god! Mom, you really are something else. To think you managed to turn this situation into this. Th this voice doesn't really suit him at all. Whatever, it's fine. Not only can you marry one of us off, you also gain a free worker. Way to kill two birds with one stone. Hey, get it? Because I'm an owl? Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> but mom, what if she runs away? Wouldn't that be a danger to all of us? 
his glasses are just so distracting. I'm so sorry. I just stared at his glasses for a moment. And it was a mistake. Um, it's like two Whoppers connected by a string. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Whoppers is like that candy. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Probably the malt balls or whatever. Sure, she is naive enough to trust us, but we don't know if she would not reveal our secret. That is already within my calculations. A girl that naive, who would believe her if she told anyone? You have nothing to worry about. Sneaky as always. I expect nothing less of from you, Mom. Of course. Don't underestimate. Moreover, I trust my intuition. I took a liking the instant I saw her. It will not be long before our dear Cad gets himself a bride. We just need to give them a little push. Playing Cupid, huh? Sounds like fun. As the day turns into night, I close my eyes and I remember. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, and that's why it's called the present. That is straight up a quote from Kung Fu Panda. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but it's literally what the turtle says, Wugwe or whatever. Even if I can hear evil laughter from across the room, everything will turn out okay in the end. This music is weird too. Right? Yes, I totally agree. <laughs> oh, yay! Okay, so there's like a little cutscene here. Not really cutscene. Oh, new chapter maybe? A new life begins. A month has passed since then. I'm finally getting used to this new lifestyle. A month already passed? Jesus Christ, that did like one day. Living a life surrounded by a bunch of cute animals, it's like a dream come true. The weather is as good as usual. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Sheep? Oh, whoa! You can actually see the game? <laughs> this is crazy! Oh man, the sheep is not what I envisioned. Pardon me, but please don't call me that when I'm like this. It might raise unnecessary suspicion. Yeah, that's a very weird nickname. Oh, I'm so sorry! I'll be careful from now on. Thank you. I'm glad that you're so understanding. This is Dai, the sheep. And other than daily cleaning, I also accompany him to the market from time to time. In order not to raise suspicion, he told me that he has to be in his human form outside of the circus. To be honest, I'm still not used to his human appearance. It's hard to imagine that this charming young man is in fact a cute little sheep. I heard that each of you has different triggers to your transformation. You've learned nothing in the past month. You literally had the first day in July, and then you just like 30 days of just blacked out, but and then now you're in July. Oh wait, did I say July before? No, you had 30. No, you had your first day in June, and then you went through July. Oh whatever, whatever. What about you, Dai? What makes you transform? Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Unlike the others, mine seems to be kind of random. Sometimes I wake up to find myself already in this state. Fortunately, I can visit the market because of it, so it has not caused us much trouble. Alternatively, Cat does it during the times that I cannot. After all, he transforms just as easily as I do. I see. I can help out too from now on! Thank you, Klana. Life has been a lot easier since you came. I'm really grateful. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, ain't that die? Okay, broccoli man with like, oh god, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, man? Good morning, chef. I would like to have some high quality beef. Barbecue today? Yes. <laughs> oh god, they're blending. Awesome. Huh? Who's that chick next to you? Your gal? No, it's nothing like that. Ain't ya a sinful man? <laughs> Where'd you get yourself such cutie pie? Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> it's really not like that. No need to deny it, you know. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, Klena. I can't even explain such a simple thing. I fail at life. Good morning, Mr. Broccoli. <laughs> oh god, I would have called him that too. My name is Klena. I've been working at Dick's Circus since last month. Who, who you calling Broccoli? But your hair. 
There's actually a very sad story behind this. I wanted to dye my super cool afro colors of the rainbow, but I accidentally dyed a green, and now it looks like a broccoli instead. <laughs> that is actually really sad. Ain't that such a sad story? Everyone said it fit me perfectly. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would want a rainbow afro, but I love broccoli. Cream of broccoli soup is really good. You speak wisdom for a kid. You sure have good taste, Di. I feel like he should have gone with a country accent, but you know, it's fine. I'm sorry, Clenna. He is completely misunderstood. It's all my fault. Well, that's Di for you. Such a pessimistic child, ain't he? Die is the name of a famous hero, but he thinks it sounds like die instead. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. I think I might get what the trigger to his transformation is. Broccoli Man? Oh, okay. I mean, I kind of like Broccoli Man. He's pretty funny. Oh, there's Dick Circus. Thank you for accompanying me, Lena. You're welcome. I will go prepare the barbecue now. See you later. Alrighty, time to get cracking. Oh, he's pushed. He, she's about to start cleaning again. Alright, here we go. Where are we going? Where did we not go before? We went to the circus, the stage, and the kitchen, I believe. So let's try going to the boys' room. Oh, there's the rabbit again. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Busy bunny! What are you doing, Mr. Rabbit? Writing a script, Bunny! Oh, shoot. Is it a horror story, Bunny? That's actually really helpful. There's a back button here, so you can actually read what she said before. You got that right, Bunny! Sounds like serious business, Bunny. Indeed, Bunny! I'm at the most important part right now, Bunny! You know how people nowadays love plot twists, Bunny? And the story doesn't surprise them is no good, Bunny! That's why I'm working my brain right now, Bunny! Oh, God. I want something cool, I'm like... I am your father. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Huh? You are my father? Oh, my God. Is that a Star Wars reference? Like, right in the middle of this game? That's kind of great. It was just an example, Bunny. That's a plot twist of a certain famous epic space opera, Bunny. <laughs> I'm actually younger than you, Bunny. Oh, is that how it is, Bunny? You're funny, Bunny! I like how she starts saying Bunny at the end of every sentence now, too. If I'm gonna write comedy, I'll be the first to find you, Bunny! I'll gladly help you, Bunny. Phew! I've never said the word Bunny so many times in my whole life. Yeah, that's a lot. This area is really dirty. Would you like to clean it? Let's sweep! Oh, we found a puzzle? Okay. Interesting. Let's go elsewhere. Alright, use two hearts. Um, let's go to the main room. Oh yeah, talk to Pig. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Are you seriously posing? Oh my god, he's like voguing right in the middle of the room. So cool! Huh? Why do I think a mere pig is cool? That doesn't make any sense. So cool! That face, though, it's too beautiful. It has exceeded any human comprehension. There's no rhyme or reason. He's just that cool. Dim area. Let's clean this area. That pig, though. That pig. It's too beautiful. All right, let's go to the caravan, I guess. Oh, there's Cat. Let's talk to Cat. Good morning, Mr. Cat. What is, ugh, the weather is as good as usual, right? Yeah. Did you know that we're having a barbecue party today? Yeah. Are you going to perform today? Do I look free to you? No good. This isn't working out at all. I want to get close to Mr. Cat, but he's still as hard to approach as ever. Oh, wow. I didn't even get to clean the caravan. Okay. Oh, maybe, like, by talking to them, it uses one heart, and then by cleaning, it uses the other heart. So that's why you use two at a time. I finished early today, so I decided to take a peek at today's performance. I'm just waiting for the pig. I only want the pig. Oh, it looks like the opening. 
there's Goofy. <laughs> oh, the pig will show up, I'm pretty sure. What? Oh, destroyed. Magical. Breathtaking. Completely out of this world. I'm in awe no matter how, no matter how many times I watch it. God damn. Together with the audience, I spontaneously put my hands together at the end of the performance. How many rustles? Let's see. Huh? Oh, Mr. Cat? What are you doing hiding behind the stage? Yikes. Wait, don't run! Oh, he ran off. Yikes. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna stop right here because we've already hit that 15 minute mark and I've gone a little bit over. I just need to get a little bit better at this. But, um, next time we'll see what's up with him. Why is he hiding behind the stage? Why... I, why did Mr. Pig not show up on stage? I'm super freaking disappointed. Oh, whatever. See you guys next time. Bye.